in this incinerator. Brand new products are being thrown away. Seven and a half tons of merchandise reduced to ashes while closely guarded. Trainers, cigarettes, even medication, all of it counterfeit. This is the sixth destruction of fake and knockoff goods since the start of the year, and it certainly won't be the last. There's counterfeiting in all sectors. Fake shoes especially is one of the pillars of organized crime. It's how they exert their power, and it's a never-ending battle. Tracking down these fakes is the job of these men. Perfume bottles being sold in this market attract their attention, and they decide to investigate. The perfumes are being sold at attractive prices. The challenge for the customs officers is moving back up the production chain. But first, they stop by the perfume seller's van, where the officers make another discovery. Normal, c'est sur Boost. Ah, même les petits sacs avec. Par contre, ils sont pas très solides. Back at base, the count begins. The officers have intercepted 460 counterfeit items with a market value of 37,000 euros. For the trader, the penalties can be severe, several thousand euros and up to three years in prison. If he doesn't have a prior record, he'll get away with a fine of about 100 euros. Last year, 5.4 million items were seized this way on the street and increasingly on the internet. 600,000 parcels arrive every day in the cargo terminal of Paris's Charles de Gaulle airport. Two to three percent of the packages are then checked at the sorting center when their appearance or origin raise suspicion. A computer then does a second check, cross-referencing the sender and the recipient's data. Suspicious packages end up behind this metal gate, a real Aladdin's cave of goods. These are Louis Vuitton labels that are ready to be attached either to clothes or bags. This one is mainly leather goods, Vuitton bags and lots of different branded shoes. The goods are detained until brand representatives are certain that they're fakes. They're then stored here until they can be destroyed. These are packages from China. They're very small amounts. These packages are quite typical of e-commerce, when you buy all the trinkets you find on online sites and marketplaces. The people who order or the senders actually rely on volume and the thousands of packages that arrive to slip through the checks. 1.13 million packages were seized last year, but that's really a drop in the ocean. In France, nearly 30% of counterfeits now come from online shopping.